you very much indeed. Thank you. You're very kind. These uh, studio audiences getting better, getting better. Now, listen, I have to tell you something. Last year, I went to a, a northern university in Salford, which will remain nameless, and I discovered that when bullseyes transmitted up there, the campus is empty. The whole university is in there watching the programme. Now, I've got to say to you all, the people who are concerned about students wasting grants, that you may think they're wasting time, but when they're watching this programme, they are studying for the BSc and the BA, two valuable degrees. That's Bully's Special Certificate <laughs> and Bully's... <laughs> and bully special awards, so they're not wasting their time. All right, and all you at Salford and all the other universities, if you're in doubt about when we're on, TV Times, middle of the pages. All right, have a look at us. We've got six people tonight playing bullseye. Give them a nice welcome as they play the game. <laughs> How are you, Paul? All right. Thanks, <laughs> It's like you've done all your training now. This is it, isn't it? This is the beginning. Right, yeah. Now then, Paul, you're from... From, oh, you're in Worth it, Staining, that's, that's on the staining, south coast. Yes. Staining, that's yeah. right. Nice part of the world, isn't it? Yeah, not bad. What do you do, what do, you do for, for a living? I work for the South Eastern Gas Board. South Eastern Gas Board? Yeah. You're engaged there? Yes, engaged. Yeah. Working for the Gas Board, you'll have no trouble turning it on. <laughs> 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 you smirking out there. <laughs> <laughs> now, Fran, you're from Worthing. Fran Emery, is that's that right? That's right. Fran Emery, that's fine. You're a tall lady, what do you do for a living? I'm a teacher. School teacher? <laughs> Well, I suppose if there's any... Do you have any trouble controlling the kids? Um, some children's activities need channelling in the right direction. Uh, I see. That's a very discreet way of saying they're hooligans, <laughs> isn't it? <that? laughs> Still, I suppose with a name like Emery, you'll have no trouble smoothing the problems out, will you? <laughs> Fran, <coughs> off you go and relax and we'll see you in a few thank minutes. You. All right, thanks. All right, how are you, Linda? How are you? Are you all right? Lovely to see you. How then? Oh, we're from Taming Oxfordshire, aren't we? That's a beautiful part of it. And you're from Aylesbury Roy, aren't you? That's right. Oh, you're related married to Roy's daughter. That's right, isn't it? Um, and how did you meet? She picked me up in a pub. <laughs> <laughs> and she was in at lunchtime having a dinner break. Yeah. And she just came over and asked me if we could, if she could take me to the fair. Really? Yeah. So you went on the big wheel and you've been going around ever since? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Roy, yeah. you're a company director, Roy, is that yeah, right? that's right, yeah. What are you involved with? A uh, rubber products. Pardon? Rubber products. Rubber products. Seals. <laughs> yes. Where, where do you get the, where, where do you import these rubber yes, products? Where all from? from France. France. Yeah. I see. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sit down. <laughs> 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 Two boys from the North East, that's right, isn't it, Ron? <laughs> Listen, tell us about your driving test. It's a lovely story. It's very quick. Well, time. what happened was, I bought the brilliant last car to take my test. Yeah. And I was going down the main road. You didn't tell us about the gear stick being loose. <laughs> so I put it in the third and it came out of my hand. <laughs> in the test? In the test. Oh, dear, dear. So I failed. <laughs> 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 you couldn't really back out then, anyway, could you? <laughs> what did he say, the guy? I, well, I, I don't know, I couldn't know nothing will happen. <laughs> tears streaming down my face. <laughs> dear, dear. Now then, Oz, what do, what do you do? You, you're, a, you're a buyer? Yes, a packaging buyer for a, a well-known power tool manufacturer. Power tool manufacturer, we can't mention it, can we? That's well, true. We better not do that. Because yeah. I was off you go, oh, but we've not... Give her that, my boy! Super! We've uh, great super audience. We've met the contestants, let's get on with the game. We'll introduce you to Bully's Category Board, you all know about it now, but we'll just refresh your memories for any... For if, if the, the odd person in the UK not, not watching us still, there we are, bonus areas, £30, £50 and £100 to be won by the dart player if he hits the subject chosen by his, by his partner. And if, of course, he, he wins, he hits the bullseye there, he can win, listen to this audience, he can win £200. <laughs> they auditioned well, this lot. <laughs> Once the subject's been hit, it drops out of the game. All right, remember that. Here we are, the questions here waiting to be answered. There are our contestants. Questions in the first round, £30 each. All right, let's get on with the game of bullseye. Come on, Fran, choose a subject for Paul. Um, words, please. Words. All right, sweetheart, words will try for you. He's lifted it too high. It's gone into Britain, but don't worry, it's early days. For £30 for you, no bonus round, but this is for £30. What is the crisp... What is the Christian name of Princess Margaret's son? Andrew. No. There's no light on that. Yes, there is a light. Roy's having a stab at it. I think it is a stab, is it, Roy? Philip. It's not. No. You've gone all round the royal names. In That's fact, right. it's, it's David. You were right to have a go on. Very courteously waited until the question was asked. Good lad. Roy for Leicester. Sport, please. Sport. All right. 
Come on, sport we're looking at, Lester. And he's lifted it as well. It's gone into places. Amazing. Never mind, don't worry. Roy, £30 worth here. Rheims and Epernay are towns in northeast France. What sort of wine is the district around these towns famous for? Cooper <laughs> wine. Sorry. It's all right, don't worry. It's, you were wrong anyway. Come on, Fran, you can get £30. Champagne. Champagne. Good mm. girl. Yes, all right. <laughs> Let's move on. Oz Ferron. Oz Ferron. Um, sport, please, Sport. Jim. All right, come on, Ron. See if we can get sport. It's not. He's trying for the bullseye. He's missed. He's gone into words, so there's no bonus. So here's your question on words for £30. <laughs> Here we go, Oz. What are, the, are l the large scissors with serrated blades used for cutting material called? Scissors with serrated edges used for cutting material. What are they called? There's a light on. I think Fran's going to get another £30 here. It's pinking shears. It's pinking shears gives you... Th yeah, well done, that's fine. So we're... Um, at the end of that round, we've got uh, Fran and Paul with £60 and, and no-one else has scored anything. We move on to round two now. The questions here are worth £50 each. They're a little bit more difficult, all right, and the subjects left, those are the ones that are lit, those are the ones you can choose. Fran, choose a subject for Paul. Books, please. Books. That's better. Good lad. £50. For another £50, uh, Fran, who wrote The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, aged 13 and a half? Susan Townsend. Susan Townsend gets you another £50. Fine. We move on. We move on. Roy, sport, sport, please. All right, sport. Here we go. Well done. £50. For another £50, Roy, which sport is played at Cowdrey Park? Polo. Polo and beautifully said, if I may say so, sir. <laughs> Good lad. All right, come on, Oz, for Ron. Um, showbiz, please. Showbiz, yeah. right, sir. Show business we're looking for. Excellent. £50. For a further £50, Oz, what is singer and actor Sting's real name? Bullies come in to end your struggles, and none of you know. Is it? It's not before your time, Fran, surely. <laughs> Gordon Sumner. Gordon Sumner. No? Well, that's fine. It's, you feel better if you don't know anyway, don't you? <laughs> scores at the end of that round. Fran and Paul with £160, Roy and Lester with £100, Oz and Ron with £50. All to play for in round three, because now the questions are worth £100 each. A little bit more difficult, and less for the dark place to aim at. In fact, what we've got left are affairs, history, spelling, and faces. So here we go, Fran, for the last time in this part of the game. History, please. History. All right. Come on, Paul. Yes, you just missed the 100 there, unlucky, but it's £50 you've got there, Fran, so you're OK. For another £100, listen very carefully, Fran, to this one. Gordon Lonsdale, the Russian secret agent, worked in Britain for seven years. He was exchanged in 1964 for a British agent. Who was the British agent? Now, 1964 does make it history, and I promise you, you will know the name. Mm. You've no yeah. light on, so there's nobody pinching your hundred pounds, Fran. Yeah. Greville Wynn. Mm. Oh, dear, dear. Mm. All right, never mind. <laughs> Come on, Roy, for Lester. Um, faces, please. Faces. Come on, Lester. Faces. Fifty pounds. Got the idea now, haven't they, the dark players? Roy, look at your monitors. All of you, Roy in particular at this stage. Who's this? He was the chap that did all the announcing for the Falklands War. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Bullies come in and you've, there's no light on either. It's one of these frustrating things. You saw him every night during yeah. the Falklands War, didn't you? That's right. Ian MacDonald. <sighs> Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? Let's move on. Oz for Ron. Uh, spelling, please. Spelling, Jim. all right. Come on, Ron. Spelling. One hundred pounds you've got there. Well done. That's put you back in with a shout, hasn't it? For another hundred pounds, Oz, please spell asphyxiate, meaning to suffocate. E S P H Y X. 
I E T E. I'll check that with Bully. A S P H Y X I A T E. Bully, he's got a hundred pounds. Well done. <laughs> Superb. I do have to say to you, I do have to say to you, the spelling is, oof, it really is hard. Fran and Paul with £210, Roy and Lester with £150, Oz and Ron, last minute, talk about survival, £250. We've got to say cheerio to Roy and Lester. In you come, boys. <laughs> well, well, well. Eh? You were there, weren't you? Did you did do well in that last bit. Never mind, you've been great, all of you have been super today, you really have, as you usually are on Bullseye, the atmosphere's tremendous. There are your bullies, have those with our compliments. How much was it? £150, was it? 100. One, two, three, four, five. £150. Have that with our compliments, you've been marvellous. Keep it, stick around, you know the way the game's going, don't you? Take it with you, take your bullies. Pleasure to have you on the show, boys. Really nice. Have you enjoyed it? Super. Thanks, Roy. All right. Let's have a look at the next part of the game. Let's have a look at it because uh, we've two couples left and in this next three or four minutes, sadly, we lose another couple. So here we go, it's pounds for points. In you come. OK, Paul, first round. Twenty. Twenty. And treble five, fifteen, so that's fifty-five. We're on 55 to beat. One. 20. And that's another one, 22. So the first round to Paul. OK, there we are. This is it now. And remember, it's general knowledge here. All right, nothing specific, general knowledge. Right. We're looking at you here, and it's a £55 question for you, Fran. Listen carefully to this. In The Wizard of Oz... What was the tin man searching for? A heart. A heart gets you £55. £265, playing £250. Very tight. Back to Tony. OK, Paul. Only £15 in it. Second round. Five. Unlucky. And 20, so 25. Out a bit, wrong. Twenty. Five. Another twenty, so that's forty-five, which does take the second round. This takes you a little further away, Oz, doesn't it? Listen very carefully to this. General knowledge again. Can you name another animal besides the elephant from which ivory can be obtained? Uh, rhino. Jim. I can offer it across. Fran? Walrus. Walrus gets you what you scored, your partner scored £25. Makes it £290, playing £250. Last round, all to play for. Back to Tony. Everything on this round. OK, Paul. Best of luck. 20. Trouble 5, 15. Another five, so that's 40. Very unlucky. But there you have it, Ron. 40 to beat. 20. 20. And treble 20, 100. Well done, Ron. Okay. Just relax on this one. You do need this to go through, Oz, you know that. All right, and we can offer it across, so listen very carefully to the question. What is the title of the spiritual and political leader of Tibet? <laughs> I know that I... must have been a nightmare for you, Oz. The Dalai Lama. Fran? The Dalai Lama. No. 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 It's not. So, it's the Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama, yes. So, in fact, what's happened at the end of the evening, well, it's £290, playing 250 So, Oz and Ron, in you come. You've done very, very well, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, well done, well done. Well done, well done. You've been excellent, you've been excellent. There are your bullseye tankard, there are your bu bullies.
and your darts and your badge and your super tankers, and you've got, of course, £250. I shall start to count it out. It will take me two minutes. Back then, please. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of Bullseye. You know, this part of the show, we have a professional dart player throwing for charity. And, of course, at the end of the season, we award this bronze bully to the professional who scored the highest, 301 or more with nine. Just a reminder at this stage in the series, the highest at the moment is Alan Evans with 340 points, getting £680. We've got a gentleman tonight who got a government grant when he actually started to play darts. He's the British Open champion. It's the first time he's been on Bullseye. We're delighted to have him with us. Please welcome, throwing for charity, John Cosnett. Yeah. All right, best of order, please. All right, John, just settle down. John to throw. Chokes his darts and off we go. Trouble 20, 60. Another trouble 20, another 60. And 20, 140. What a start, John. <laughs> Keep it going. Same again, John. 20. One. And 20. 41. Still, that's 181, John. <coughs> Take your time. Three to go. Treble 20. 60. Another treble 20. And another treble 180! That's 361! John, well done! <laughs> Oh, look at him. You're absolutely destroyed you, that, hasn't it? Yeah. £722 pounds there you've got for charity. Fantastic. Because it was 300 and... It's what, anyway, it was half £722. <laughs> pounds. Isn't it a lot? That's, I don't think that... I think that could well be yours at the end of the season. I hope so. We've got two people here tonight who will be very pleased you've come to this programme tonight, John. Thank Meet you very these much. two. Come on here. Meet, <laughs> look at this one. Hey. How's that for you? What do you? What do you? You've got there £722. Tell John and tell the, the nation where it's going. It's going to the local Cardiam thing, which supplies life packs to go um, into the local ambulances. Into the ambulances, mm. to accidents and whatever. Yes. There's uh, £722 there, courtesy of John. John, you can take him off. I think you could well be keeping him. Leave him for us. He's fairly heavy. Is, isn't he? <laughs> Solid bronze. Is that? Don't, be Beautiful. careful with that. He'll damage you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Look after yourself. Thank it's you privileged to have you on the programme. Well, it's, uh, I must tell you, I must tell you, I really thought Alan Evans had it cut and dried and that was the first programme, but it's up again, 7-2-2. Fortune for your charity there, fortune for you here, we hope, because here, Bully's Prize Board, behind the red segments, there are some marvellous prizes. Watch this. In one. Just like yours truly, cool and upright, it's a freezer. In two. If you've a date, you won't be late with these matching watches. In three. A friend that won't melt away with the warm weather, it's a cuddly snowman. In four. Hello, 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 it's a set of copper saucepans. In five. For a feast of family fun, this super games table. In six. For sharp dressers, an electric trouser press. In seven. You shall have music wherever you go with this portable electronic keyboard. In eight. For people going places, this matching luggage. And Bully's special prize. For the best in sound and vision, this Teletext TV comes equipped for stereo sound. OK. Yeah. Little point to remind you, just to help you keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. All right? Once you've hit it, stay with it. Off you go. Look after him, Tony. OK, Paul. Just take your time. Settle in. Reds we want. That's black. But that's red, it's number one. You've won the upright freezer. That's the bullseye! Off you go. All right, Fran, off we go. That's black. 
That's red, it's number seven. That's excellent. That's the portable electronic keyboard. That's black. It's all right. It's going well. All right, sweetheart. Come on, Fran. You're going very, three very well. Three prizes gone and three darts to go. Paul? Yes, that's red at number five. That's fine. That's the games table. Red again, number six. That's the electric trouser press. You're doing very well. One to go. Yes, it's there. Oh, there you are. You've done very, very well there. You've won the set of copper saucepans. You have won the upright freezer, the set of copper saucepans, the games table, the electric trouser press, the portable electronic keyboard and the stereo teletext TV. <laughs> I do urge you to think very, very carefully now. It's the prizes I want you to think about. Bear in mind what you've won. I've said it to you once. Remember what you've won. Would you like to gamble those for tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully? 101 or more with six darts. You're a fair player, Paul. It's Fran. You talk about it. 101 or more with the six. Three apiece. You have the time it takes the board to revolt to tell us what you want to do. Talk about it. What would you do, audience? Come on. Come on. Come on. Maisie. Tell us now. You'll keep what we've got, thanks, You'll keep what you've got. I, I do think you're probably very wise. Come on. Come on. That's fine. Yes, well done. Super. Here we go. You've been a delight, you really have. There are your bullseye tankards. There they are. There is there are your, your bullies with your badge there and your darts. All right. Have you enjoyed it? Very much. Has Thank it been worth it? Yes, has it? Much, yeah. Well, that's lovely, because we like you to enjoy it, especially when you win all these prizes. It's really marvellous. There you are. Have it with our comments. Thanks for playing the game. Thank you. Thank you. Off you go. Well done, Frank. Good job. <laughs> we uh, can you remember? Uh, can you remember about seven or eight minutes ago when the Dalai Lama nearly cost this fellow his neck? <laughs> They're back now from Tyne Tees, Ron Natras and Oz Ewan. Come on, boys, in you come. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Ron. Well done. What now, then? Is it a lot of money to you, that 250? We've thought yes. long and hard, and we've had a great day, and yeah. we'll take what we've got. Yes. We're going to take the 250. Yes. Well, I do know you... <laughs> you've been super. Thanks for playing the game with us. Good lads. <laughs> We lost a couple, uh, father-in-law and son-in-law from the, well, from Thames area in Aylesbury, Lester and Roy, with £150. They've got it in their hands. Are they going to keep it or let us have it back? Welcome them back on stage. Come on, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you have got there, boys, £150, and if you want to keep it, you can. I mean, I'm not going to argue with you, but what yeah, do you... Jimmy. Is this it? Yeah. No, you're going to gamble 101 yeah. or more with three yeah. apiece. If you win, of course, we give you this back, because that's your stake. All right. We wish you the best of luck, because we've had a great... It's been a super night with all of you. Non-dark player first, 101 or more. Come on. Off we go. Right, come on, Lester. You come and stand with me, young sir. Okay, Tony, will look right. after you. Listen to Tony. Just take your time now. Okay. Don't need time. All right. Just settle in. 101 or more for tonight's star prize. That's two. It's 14. That's one, so that's 17, leaving 84. One more, Lester. Yes, you can do it. 20. 18. Yes, it's time to put it! Oh, what a beautiful <laughs> Come on, come on. 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 You have won. That's all that goes into an electric kitchen. There we are, look at it. It's a dryer, a washer, an electric cooker, copper saucepan, food mixer, coffee percolator, dishwasher, fridge, and you're going to have so much time on your hands at home, we've given you a colour telly as well. All that, all that for the throw of a dart. What about that? And, of course, don't forget, you get your money back. You've forgotten Thank that. You. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Never saw it. Thank you very much indeed Thank for you. playing the game. Thank you. Thanks for watching us on Bullseye. 101 or more, the boys did it under a lot of pressure tonight, didn't they? From £150 to all this. Thanks for watching the game. Thanks to John Cosner. Didn't he do well tonight? Tony Green, as forever, counting for us on the game. Superb studio audience, the best we've had for a long, long time. Thanks for watching the game. Watch us next week, because you can't beat a bit of bullying. Bye.